Studying leather technology does not make you a cobra, as many people portray. When I was admitted, I remember the first thing my brother told me, you're going to be a cobbler, and I lost hope. So reaching the school, I'm grateful to the lecturers and the department because they encouraged us to do it. This course is not about the cobbler, food or viatu like it's normally said out there. This course is, it takes more, is more of a scientist. Let the youth embrace this course. To the students, I would like to tell them to create an interest, you know. You might not like the course, but eventually you will. Please be passionate, create an interest. Encourage anyone studying leather to just to, to study hard and also look for those opportunities uh, like entrepreneurship. We have research, they have not been exploited. I wish to encourage students who want to undertake leather technology at the university and encourage them on the commitment of the department, the lecturers, our professors, and the vice chancellor on the opportunities they have been able to provide for us, both in terms of academic and in the employment sector. Are you interested in manufacturing leather products? Would you like to work in the leather industry? If so, join us today for a diploma, degree, and master's in leather technology. We are one of the few universities in the country that offer leather and for us we offer leather technology which is considered as value addition to the raw skins and hides through a processing technique. This is a course that I didn't apply so I found myself. So the first years of you know being in the university were quite rough for me because I really didn't accept the course. I was here up and there trying to change the course but I think maybe for me it was a blessing in disguise that I didn't manage to change the course. I had no intention of doing the course but looking back I'm grateful that I did it. When I was admitted to the course I didn't know much about it but with the help of the lecturers who took us through on what the course entails you are able to understand what the course is, what the, the details of the course and the opportunities the course has for the industry and for the people. Continue to appeal to the, the prospective candidates those who have just finished their high school training to consider enrolling into our program. We want to encourage the youth out there and everyone who is a potential stakeholder, whether as a student or entrepreneur, to undertake the leather technology course at the university, for it has the potential to take you to the next level in the leather industry. The good thing with leather technology is a very hands-on course. You can learn to make leather, and you can also do footwear and leather goods manufacturing, making of the actual products from the leather. As Kenya strives to become an industrialized, middle-income country by 2030, the government has four main agendas driving the country. Leather technology falls under the manufacturing sector and aims at offering an opportunity for industrialization and diversification of leather products. The leather industry is a robust and lucrative industry worth over 50 billion Kenyan shillings. In Kenya, this is an industry that is currently undersupplied with skilled workers. Among us, the key stakeholders that have really developed this sector is uh, a partnership that we have with the Kenya Leather Development Council. Uh, and this has been a partnership that has existed for some time now and uh, we've had a very good working relationship with uh, that institute. I appreciate the university as a whole because they have put the leather technology course at their heart. They are willing to push it to to push the students to pursue the course, to make it live, and also to secure opportunities even for the students during the internships, at the attachments, and even when they are raising opportunities in the industry like the counties, they are able to tell them they are there, and they exist and they get them. I would like to thank the university for the kind of exposure that the, we, the graduates, have had the truth is, is that exposure has really shaped us as career men and women. You can be an SME, you can venture into leather products manufacturing, you can work for each segment of the value chain, right from raw material handling, you can start your own curing premise, you can work in the tannery, you can work in leather products manufacturing units or start your own, you can do consultancy. By the way, there is no leather consultant firm in Kenya. 
So that's really an opportunity that people should venture into. A shortage of lecturers, instructors, even in the tanneries, they are complaining of shortage of those technicians who are able to to do the processing up to their final stages that are quality. So I would encourage students to study leather because there are unexploited opportunities in the sector that require many people there, they are not there, and I would encourage anyone to just do the course. I wish to underscore the commitment of the Department of Chemistry in the university for the impact they have had in our lives, the technical skills and foundations that they have put in us, that we are able to carry out our mandate currently for at the national level. The university also facilitated the curriculum was very comprehensive. We were able to grasp so much on what is expected of us in the industry. They gave us internship opportunities and attachment where our attachment were industrial based. We were able to interact with the industry and that 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 gave us first hand information on what will be expected of us once we graduate. The leather technology program of Fada Dikot equips students with skills in processing hides and skins into leather and producing exotic leathers. The students learn the design, fabrication and testing of all kinds of leather goods and footwear. This program is very marketable course and it is quickly gaining popularity in the industry. Since the launch of the leather technology program, all our graduates have secured employment and those with an interest in entrepreneurship have created lucrative ventures. Having graduated in April 2017, luckily by 2017 September, I had already been absorbed. We were the pioneers of the course and uh, we did so well because in the industry, they didn't have people who had the knowledge concerning leather. So you are the people to be sought after to help the industry or to steer the industry forward. That shows how the industry, how the course has opportunities, it has so much potential. The industry as we speak of, we as a country, we can boast us to be the country with the third largest animal population. That means for us the heights and skins cannot be a problem for us at the industry. What, is, what we need now is a skill capacity, skills enhancement. I graduated in 2019, April. Uh, as Alia said, I graduated, uh, I got the job in November 2019, and that shows how there were opportunities at that time that I got the job. I secured it that earlier after I graduated. There is still deficiency in the market where uh, the, the, the graduates are still needed in that field because they have never been uh, sufficient. Visit our website at www.dkut.ac.ke to apply. For more information, contact the marketing department at 0713-123-021 or email marketing at dkut.ac.ke.